Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Really, how are you? My name is Kirsty, and I am not even going to pretend that I know what episode this is. I don't know where we're at. I don't know what we're doing. But welcome to Is It Expired? All right, so we did miss last week. We did. Between work and a bunch of events we had going on, I just got entirely too worn out. I was busy. So I kept the products for a couple of weeks, which is fine. They got some love and we love that. Let's backtrack here a little bit. Here is my disclaimer. As always, please don't use expired makeup. I am well aware what the potential consequences could be. I know what could happen. I could end up with a rash or a breakout or hives or an infection. Things could happen. And so I'm taking that risk for myself. I don't recommend others do the same. With that being said, the reason I'm doing this is I have been hoarding for a very, very long time. Years, years upon years upon years. And uh, I just want to get some love out of these products before I end up chucking them due to being old. So with that, I just pull five items with a random number generator through my entire collection. I pick those five items, I play with them for a week, I see if things like the smell, the consistency, uh, the performance has changed at all. And if they have, they go in the bin. If not, I'm just going to keep using them. Uh, and that's my choice to make here. So again, I don't recommend others do what I do and that's fine, but let's move back to last week. Let's see what I pulled. Let's see what I used for those two weeks. I only got ready about five or six times and I only got one photo. Uh, like I said, Work was chaotic. We ended up going to quite a few events. There were quite a few shows here. So it was like, get ready in a hurry and go. So it is what it is. And that's fine. It's two weeks. And these things got some love. But let's see what I got here. All right. First item from last week. Again, I don't know what number I'm on anymore. I've totally lost track. It's fine. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to start looking when I'm naming them and go from there and not try to guess anymore. It's not happening. This is my Arbonne blush in the shade Blossom. It is just a really pretty neutral pink with a gold fleck undertone, very similar to that of NARS Orgasm, which I do like better, but whatever, I have both. So <laughs> this is, uh, it's fine. It has a huge pan. It has some side pan. There's a lot happening here, which means it has gotten some love and that's awesome. This is ugh, over 10 years old. I want to say in that like 10, 10 year ish range, it's old, but I do really like it still. I have no issues with it and I'm just going to keep using it because I think this actually might be one that I can eventually use up organically. And for me, that's exciting. That's very exciting. I don't get to use up powder products organically very often, but it's coming. It's happening. We're seeing it. Moving on. Okay, doke. This is my She Glam. I feel like I'm so lost because I have, I was using these products for two weeks and I, I feel like I should have done this already because I should have last week. Now I'm just kerfuffled to mess. I don't know. This is my She Glam Bright Eyes Cooling Concealer in the shade Linen. So I do really like this product and I like, I love the metal tip head. The issue is that the color is just too light right now in the summer. I have a tan. This is tan. It's exciting for me. Uh, this is only about six months old, something like that. I got it last year for sure. It's August, isn't it? So I guess it's like eight months old. What is happening? Where did this year go? Not the point. It's less than a year old, but wow, we're already eight months into this year. I like it for what it is. I like the product. I just wish I had a darker shade for right now. However, I think it will work beautifully in the winter months because that is when I revert back to my normal color of almost translucent. So looking forward to using it then, but it's probably going to go back in my stash for a couple months. This is my She Glam Wretched Bromance Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bloody Mary. This is part of their Halloween collection 2021, I think. So it's like three years old, something like that. And I love these. It came with five. I adore them. They're a velvety mousse like texture. So it's, it's a beautiful formula. Love it. But this is a very bold color. So I was using this as like a cream blush through most of uh, the couple of weeks there. And I loved it like that. It, I would underpaint with it. So it would give you this beautiful, almost sunburnt look, but because it was like within the skin, it just looked really radiant and, and beautiful. And I know that sounds weird. Cause you're like, why would you want to look sunburnt? But I loved 
the outcome of this. I really, really did. With the addition of the other blush that I was using, I would um, build them together. Loved it. Loved it. So I'm going to probably utilize that in, in that aspect until I get to fall where I wear more bold colors on my lips. Summertime, I feel like I do a lot more boldness in my eyes, so I don't always do both too much sometimes, especially if I'm going out. And I have been a lot lately, which is weird for me. It's been a strange couple of weeks here. I'm in the twilight zone, I swear. This is going back into my collection, and I think, yeah, I'm going to remember to use it as a cream blush because I loved it like that. Loved it. Okay, next, speaking of old. This is my Avon Luxury Eyeliner in the shade Eggplant. It's just a nice purple. It is what it is. Uh, a couple of these are MLM products. I don't support MLM products anymore. I haven't. I, Ten years ago would have been the last time I purchased from a friend to support them. I no longer do that. Sorry to say, it's just not for me. I don't like how those are set up. It is what it is. So... This is really old. I'm just trying to get use out of these and get them out of my collection at this point. It's just a purple eyeliner. I don't know. It's fine. It's still creamy. still works. So I gotta give it that, I guess. It didn't dry out in 10 years, but not something I would repurchase anyway. I have no idea what the lineups for like Arbon or Avon look like anymore because I don't shop through them. So I don't know what they have anymore. And that's fine with me. Moving on. All right, last here is my ColourPop Cabana Club palette. I think I used just about every shade in this except for like the dark blue. I know that I played with this one quite a bit and honestly kind of disappointed in the quality of this one. It's very uh, light pigment. You really had to build if you want that color. It did not come off that color originally. Uh, it's fine though. I really do love the other shades. I love that it's uh, very... You could go very neutral, but you can kind of have some pops of color in there too. I just wish that the pigment was true to color. That's my one thing. This is uh, probably three years old. Yeah, about three years old. So it's not so old that I would think that the formulations changed. I think that's just how this palette was. It's just, it's, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. It's just when you get it on the eyes, it's not as it's not as strong as it looks when you swatch it. It's really not. But oh well. Uh, maybe I was using the wrong brush. Uh, there's there's a lot of things there. I didn't play with that color a whole heck of a lot. It was only like one day, so maybe it's something that I need to try again with different uh, application techniques. Definitely something that I could play with. But it did get quite a bit of love throughout the couple of weeks. Like I said, I did get ready about five or six times between the two weeks. So. This palette got some attention, got some love. And uh, I do see some dips happening. Well, I see one in, in Copa Cutie, like this pink shade, that definitely has a dip going, which is nice. So I can see that it's been used and gotten a little love, got a little attention, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, again, haven't eaten, just coffee today. Uh, so I'm a little, I'm a little strange. Maybe that's just who I am. Maybe it has nothing to do with the caffeine or the lack of food. Maybe I'm just a strange person. Let's move on to this week. Okay, let's start with this because I had to reapply anyway. It's fine. This is my Hello Kitty lip gloss in the shade Strawberry Pink. I don't even remember Hello Kitty having like their own cosmetics line. I got this when I worked at Sephora. So eight-ish years ago, it's old. Yep, yeah, especially for a lip gloss. It's a cream product, but... It doesn't, doesn't really actually smell like anything, which I'm kind of surprised. I would think that it would have like a fruity scent, but it doesn't actually smell like anything. And uh, honestly, I don't know if I'd ever really used it before pulling it. It's something that I've maybe used four or five times in the last eight years, and that's not okay. That is not okay. These things need to get attention. They need to get love before bad things start happening to them, and they need to go in the bin. But as of now... Scent seems fine. I've had it on for a couple of hours now. I had to get up and do uh, a couple errands prior to filming. So I've had it on for a while. There's no weirdness. It's actually very smooth, very silky. Uh, there's no like chunks or anything happening. I know that's disgusting. I'm so sorry. But I'm just saying like it is in really good condition. So I'm going to keep using it obviously for the week and see what happens. But so far so good. And I actually like the color. So I don't know why I don't use it that often. I guess I go through phases of like lip gloss gal and and no go 
and uh, it just it got neglected any time that I was in a lip gloss mood, I guess. But not this week. This week it's gonna get some love, and it's gonna go in my bag, and let's see how much I can get used up in a week. Probably not that much. Moving on. Sorry, I like I like washed my hair this morning, and then I just kind of let it do its its own thing. <laughs> I shouldn't let it do its own thing. I don't know what's happening. It's still kind of wet, and it's like the underside gets really curly, but the top, I don't know. My hair's weird. It just it just does its own shenanigans up there. This is my Sephora collection, flashy liner in in the shade flashy gray, uh, which is basically just a silver, is it not? Flashy gray? Anyway, it is like a deep silver, I would say, because it's got a metallic tint to it. You know what I'm saying? Grabs light. This I really, really do like. This I would have got probably close to 10 years ago. And I got a set of them. So there was like a blue and a purple and a silver and a gold. I feel like there was a, oh, and, uh, and a black, which was like a metallic black, which was weird. I might even still have that. I don't know. But they are really nice. They are still really creamy. I have it on my waterline today. And I, again, no issues. I have contacts in. So again, I would notice right away if things were irritating because my eyes are exponentially more sensitive when I have contacts in. Probably also because the contacts are expired. I'm on brand there. It's fine. But this seems to be doing fine. I really like these. I, again, just don't gravitate towards colored eyeliners that much. I will go for my eyeshadows first. So I forget. And that's why I love this project. Because I forget about these products. I forget that I own them completely. It's really nice to be able to, like, get reacquainted and find some love. I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Let's move on. Well, this is exciting. This is actually like fairly new to my collection. Did I get this this year? Was my rare haul this year? I think so. So this is about six months old. I don't think I'd even used it yet. This is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Uh, yeah, one of the newest things in my collection. So that's exciting. It's fine. I don't know. Uh, this is the first time I've used it. So I can't really give you like a great review here. I am not 100% sure. However, like, my skin does look nice. I'm very, like, glowy. I, I look smooth. Smooth is good. Uh, so, so far so good, but it's something that I would like to test a couple more times before I can actually, like, say if I like it or not. It's one of those. It might mix really well with some foundations, but not with others. So it's going to be a trial week. Fairly new. Excited to test it out for the week. And then we're going to move to, like, the oldest things in my collection. We're back to my Shaney Cosmetics. Uh, loose pigments. I think these are like 13 years old. 12, 13. I think these are like the oldest things that I have now, honestly. Uh, huge set of these. Love them. I really do. And it, it's just things that I forget. However, what I did notice when I was using this today, as you can tell, I have it on, uh, is that you can actually see that it is quite a bit lower in the tub, which means I have actually used this particular one a fair amount of times. You can see use. You can see use in the jar, tub, whatever you want to call this, the container. I don't know. What are these called? They're kind of like a pain to use because they're loose pigment. And I think that's why I hesitate towards grabbing them is just, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to make a mess. But if you use a base, whether it be like a, a glitter glue, or I actually have like the P. Louise bases, which I have underneath this, which is why it's so intense. They stay on gorgeously. Like I said, I've had this makeup on for a couple hours and, uh, I don't even have any creasing happening, which is shocking because these were like, I don't know, $100 for 50 of them. They were like two bucks a pop. Great price. And if you're not opposed to the loose pigment aspect, love them. Love them, love them. Again, I don't actually know if they still have them. I think they have like a loose pigment in some form, but I couldn't tell you if it's the same collection because this is so old. <laughs> it's fine. Moving on. This, uh, this would be five years old because it is the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter Palette, the Holiday Edition from 2019. I think I got it like mid-2020 though, so I mean, it's still old. <laughs> so it is beautiful. So you get a collection of three highlighters. So that's a good, like a gold undertone. I would say champagne -y, gold undertone, and pink undertone. It's kind of how I would put them, but they're stunning. I love them. They're beautiful. They are intense, 
So uh, if you don't want to glow to the gods, maybe not the vibe for you, but obviously you can't get this anymore because it was a limited edition. I'm sure Lancome does still make highlights that are like the same formula though. They're so soft. They're like butter. They're beautiful. Like they're absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely look into getting more Lancome highlights if I didn't have probably 107 other highlights and I'm not joking. So many, so many. Uh, but the formulation is absolutely amazing. And this obviously is something that has gotten quite a bit of love throughout the years. Like there's not necessarily dents, but you can see use and you don't use a lot of highlights. So, you know, I'll take what I can get. But I do really love this palette. Love, love, love it. At this point, it's almost, it, well, I've had it for about four years, but I don't, it was probably manufactured about five years ago. Just, I, I got it on sale. So I got it late. And I'm not mad about that. I'm a frugal bitch. Love me a good sale. But I do really like this. I am so excited to use it for this week. It's again, one of those things that I kind of, like don't get me wrong, I do grab it once in a while, but because I have so many options when it comes to highlight, it's not something I'm gonna be grabbing every day. So I am excited to grab it every day this week. That's everything. I'm still not 100% sure what week we're on. I need like a list. I don't know. After I got into double digits, it just, it was really hard and I had to like backtrack before I did each episode and I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to pretend like I have a clue what's going on, especially when I miss a week, then I'm, I'm so lost. I don't know what is going on anymore at this point, but that is my week. I am excited. I love, I love this green. I really do. And I actually have like green in my dress today uh, on the bottom. So it goes really well. Again, didn't plan it, just dressed and then uh, looked at what I had pulled and uh, it's shade 20. I, I think I forgot to mention that. Shade number 20. It's just one of the greens. There's like six greens in that entire collection. Uh, so I had no idea because when I looked at my list and it just said like Shaney Cosmetics 20 loose pigment, I'm not going to have a freaking clue what that means. And I have to dig through all of them to see which one 20 is. And it worked out. I match my dress. You just can't see the bottom. It's fine. I think we are going out and doing some things today, going into the big wild world that we live in. So I didn't want to go too crazy, but I think that I have a good balance of pop a color, but you know, people aren't going to be looking at me funny, which is kind of nice. I don't like attention. None. Please. Thank you. All right. Is that recording that? What just happened? It just did that on its own. Why does it do this? Well, I'm going to go before other things start popping up here because I didn't touch anything. I don't know what that was. Have a wonderful day, evening, weekend journey. Enjoy your journey, and I will see you next week, hopefully.